Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the channel. I am Tyler Bikes. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Today, we are going to be redoing the roof. Not in this truck yet. That'll be in a future upload. But the whole headliner and some of the doors in my truck with Alcantara black. And then on the roof, not on the doors, we're going to be doing the starry inlets, whatever you call them. It's the fiber optics. And it looks like a star, starry night on the roof, like kind of how they have on the Rolls Royce. And uh, I've seen it on some other trucks and guys do it and it looks really cool and it has a little twinkle effect. So I already have all the stuff in the garage ready to go. We got the truck in there in the garage and we're gonna start pulling the headliner out, take the fabric off, get the holes done, get it done in Alcantara, put the strips through, there's a little LED, or the little fiber optic strands through, cut them, and then reinstall it and it's just gonna make the truck look so much cleaner the black is gonna match the new black floor mats i got the new stereo i got and the new extremely dark five on five tint that i got so everything's kind of gonna tie together a lot better and i can't wait to see it done it's gonna be one of the coolest things i've ever done to this truck and i've done a lot to this truck so i'm gonna get started and i will catch up with you guys sometime during the process of getting it installed all right, so the headliner is ready to come out. We got everything disassembled, taken apart. Those things unclipped, everything that comes out, out. Pillars disconnected, so nothing's holding it in anymore. It's ready to be pulled out. We got all the panels taken out and we're going to be running the wires through back here or the fiber optics and then up that over and then spread them out amongst this completely. And you can see we got all the crap in the bed and we're gonna take it out. And here is the inside without a headliner. So that looks weird, but it's kind of cool, but I'm ready to see Alcantara in here. It'll look a lot better than plain metal. All right, so now I have the headliner out wrapped in Alcantara. This is the back side of it. And I made a little key right here for the stars. The kit that I have has six big ones. 20 medium ones and 270 small ones. So all the little dots are where the small ones are gonna be. The circles like that are where the big ones are gonna go and the X's like that are where the medium ones are gonna go. So I already marked them all out. Now it's time to drill holes through and then start running the fibers through and look at the other side. It looks really good so far, but um, definitely a lot of work to go. And finally, the last strand is ran. This was a lot of work, a lot of uh, poking holes and running these little cords through and it gets super messy over here. And you can see it just looks like a ton of fishing wire going and then underneath looks crazy. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is glue them down on each one, which is gonna take forever because there is 296 that we have to glue down and then that way they can't pull back out and then cut them off under here. And then the headliner will be done and it'll be ready to be reassembled in the truck. And now I got the wires cut and it looks like trash because this Alcantara is directional. But once you get it all, I'll vacuum it and get it all brushed the same way and it'll look really good. Um, but for now, I got all the wires cut and I'm gonna wait to turn them on. I already saw it, but I'm gonna wait to throw it on the video until it is back in the truck because that's the next thing that I'm gonna be doing is reassembling everything and that is gonna be no fun. So I'm gonna get that in the truck and catch up with you guys then. All right, the final product is done. Take a look. It came out so awesome, I love it. And the Alcantara doesn't look good if you're touching all over it because it's directional. So I tried to brush everything the same direction and it, that made it look really, really nice. And I 3D printed a little remote holder so the remote just fits right into that vent and stays right there. Just controls them. I can take it out if I want to. And white looks the cleanest. Let me go shut that door with the super dark five on five tint so you guys can see what I'm talking about. This tint is awesome. I am very happy with that decision. Let me hop in too, so all the blue lights go off. We'll turn these lights off. The Trek engine light actually isn't on. That's just because the truck isn't started. But check this out. I'm gonna drop the camera. 
and give you guys a little view like this. That's about as wide of an angle as I can get with this camera. But you can see that's white and it has the little twinkle. And I think that looks awesome. It's super clean, subtle look and driving this thing, especially at night, it's just, it feels so much different than with the stock headliner. And now with the windows being like almost just as black, it flows from the back, from the back window up and down to the brow, which is over here, and then to the windshield. So it kind of like it ties the whole thing together. And I just think it looks so incredibly awesome. And the remote, so it does every color and I'll show you the little motor back behind the seat and how we got that mounted up. But it does every color. Blue looks pretty cool too because blue goes with all the blue interior lights that I have. White, again, that's like the cleanest look, I think. And then uh, it has a couple different fade settings. I think the fade is really cool. Let me wipe the camera off. So there, wipe the camera lens off and it doesn't get as many striations. But that fade is really cool. Just open the doors up. Say you're at like a car show or you're at a truck event something like that just leave it on this and leave the doors open and i have it wired up so that when i turn the keys off everything goes off and then when i get in the truck turn it on start it up it came out really awesome i am super happy with it it was about 12 hours of work and let me show you guys there are a couple little additions that i also did while doing this so you can see the Alcantara looks really nice when you brush it all the same direction. Otherwise, it just looks really messy when it has a bunch of touch marks on it. But I got rid of my visors. Now, some people might think I'm an idiot for that and say it's really stupid. But I haven't used them ever since I got this 5% brow and have a 50% tint on my windshield. I literally never flopped these down. They were the messiest things on the truck. They had a little stain on it. I don't even know what from, like it came with the truck. It was the only thing that really wasn't perfect on the truck when I got it. That and a couple other plastic pieces that I have on the way, just to show you real quick. This pillar is cracked right there. And then on the other side of the truck, this, another thing that came with the truck, I think it's glue because this little track was broken and I need to clean this all up too, and I will. But I ordered a new one of these pieces, the sill plate. And so that'll be here, factory color, everything will be factory from GM. I just ordered it. And that'll make the truck look a lot better and cleaner, pretty much make it perfect. I really like how you can see the reflection in the iPad of the stars. And back to the visors that I took off, I also had these little caps 3D printed and they came out really nice. The holes are where the screws go in and I couldn't just leave it open because it was open to metal and I couldn't have just sealed over it and left the visors out that way because these two actually hold the headliner in place. So I couldn't have just left them out altogether, although that would have been a much cleaner look these came out really nice, especially off camera when the flash isn't hitting them. They just blend so well. If I didn't mention it, people wouldn't even know they're there. They, they don't stick out. Maybe I can show that better from back here. You really can't tell they're there unless someone tells you they're there and you're like, oh yeah, and look, but it just came out so good. I'm very happy with it. And back here, you can see this is the little box. I haven't mounted it to the truck yet. I wanna do some little strap but it's not going anywhere. It's totally secured in place. I ran the fiber optics up this pillar through there and they come out right about there and then spread out all over the roof. But that's all it is, is this little box. Then I connected it to the amp for switched power uh, right around here. And we did a little fuse, so it's not gonna blow. And it came out really nice. And like I said, when you put this back, you're never even gonna see it. The seat covers it. And now with the inside looking this nice with Alcantara, new WeatherTech floor mats, the doors look perfect, the plastic piece is getting fixed, that's getting fixed, and I'm detailing all the underside. This cloth really looks a little out of place, so I think I'm going to go with some tan leather. I know a shop pretty close to my house that'll do it for about a thousand bucks, 
and also do this part in leather because that matches the seats currently. And then I think leave that, that carpet because I'm not gonna change the whole carpet because it's just carpet on the bottom, matches, looks fine and easy enough to clean. So I'm gonna leave the carpet on the bottom and the bottom carpet, get leather there and leather on all the seats. And that should about finish it off for the interior. I would eventually like to get a newer iPad to replace that one. And I have something big happening right here and possibly there in the near future, but I'm talking to a shop about that one too as we speak. So that's another work in progress. Anyways, hop back in here with the stars. I think it looks so awesome. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you guys are new to the channel, like the truck, make sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button if you guys like the video, like the way this came out. I really cannot stress enough how much I like this. One of the coolest things I've done to the truck and I've done so much, it was a 12 hour project. Costs about $330 in materials for a single cab. Keep that in mind, this is a single cab. It's about as small of a surface as you're gonna do one of these projects on. Next is to do the Duramax. I don't know when I'm gonna do that because I am gonna be very busy in the near future, but I still have a ton more videos coming. I'm just not sure when I'm gonna have a full 12 hour day, probably longer to do the Duramax because the Duramax is an even bigger headliner than this. So I imagine it's gonna take a lot longer. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and until next time, see you guys later.